Hey, what's up? It's your boy Mike B, your number one favorite host of Keep It Moving Podcast. Mm. I understand that there are other people who try to host this show, but they don't give it to you like I give it to you. I give it to you how you want it. That's when they turn it off. Long next I'm time. just. <laughs> well, <laughs> ain't that, ain't that how your boy Tyrone's? Oh, Tyrone. <laughs> I'm just happy you know the name of the show. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm here with my boy JT. Whoa. My lady Novelty. Hello. And my boy Joe is joining us again. Salute. <laughs> That's it, as he takes his drink. Um, anyway, how has everyone been? Any qualms? Any bitches? Any, like, gripes? What's going on? Any, any bitches? Yeah, we're so, like, do you have anything to 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 gripe did you, about? Did you get any bitches last night? <laughs> uh, we're not talking about those types, uh, Joe. Uh, okay. And right. you know, Joe, like this whole time since I knew you were going to be on the show, I wanted to talk to you about this whole like I was hearing about Google. Like they was like the self drive, the self driven car mm. has been in the first injury accident, and I'm like, oh shit, it's about to go down. Mm. But then, as I when I read the actual article, mm. it was actually somebody ran into the the, the Google car, mm. so it wasn't like the the Google car ran into somebody else because they they probably would have stopped that shit. You know, the whole like, program. I'm I'm sure like somebody was trying to they were trying to make sure like the Google car would not make it, oh. and they just oh, ran into the car. Oh, okay, or since it is not is. You said, is it like remote control or unmanned? It's unmanned. I don't know how it works. And so maybe like, somebody behind the wheel could have avoided the the person that was, Possibly. you know, po- you know, somebody. So they can go but I don't think that there's anyone there. in the car with the. I, I think mean, that's his no, point. Since, you know, the, you if know, they was in the car, they they might could have avoided oh, okay. the stupid yeah. person. <laughs> there's defensive driving. You know. It takes an p- actual person oh, to be so, in you know, So that's a good thing to think about. You know, instinct and human. Yeah. So because yeah, yeah, people like do that. stupid stuff. I mean, think about it. When you get on the ro- get in your car, do you just drive for yourself? No, you drive for the other people around you. Uh huh. And people act like they can't the drive, and they don't. They, they act like no, nobody's no, no, no. on the road but them. Wait a minute, because you I, you know I understand we're talking about Google right now, mm. but can we go back to novelty in the way that she drives, as if nobody else is on the road, and where you see Bill, you know we. There have been times we we usually sit in the back yeah. when we ride with her. And that's the right way this, to do it. She, you almost hit a pedestrian I on a did bike. Not. You yes, almost did. hit a pedestrian, I and then you got not. the nerve to talk about Google. Mm-hmm. I have never <laughs> and people, almost hit a person. No, I didn't. You, you don't remember that? You don't, do, do, should I? Replay How it? is it that I almost hit but the see, person on the bike, right. and the bike almost hit my car? That's what you say. Okay, mm-hmm. defensive driving. Yeah. What do you say, Joe? But, anyway. but Novelty does not have a 360-degree camera on top of her head. The she, Google car has a 360-degree camera, so it's supposed to look all around, and if somebody just runs into you, Google should have done something. So you think that the defensive driving should have still been there because of the camera? Yes, yes. They they saw the the accident about to come. Yeah, they saw it coming. Yeah, that's why they yeah, need to I mean, go back if, to the drawing board. Camera on top of your car. Mm. The camera should catch something. So something was at fault on the camera. But even if you have the camera on top, if I'm gunning for you, like what can you do? You can't. The car can't disappear. What is it? You can't speed up and hit ram into uh, another I car. I mean, that's different. Or, or if you're gunning for signal. if you're gunning for somebody, then that's different. But um, I think he's just referring to the defensive driving mm. comment. But if you're a human, what what would you do? Swerve to the left, to the right? Uh-uh. Right? I, I take my feet off the, the brakes and make my body go limp and prepare for impact because <laughs> it's coming. When you're driving? No. If, said, driving? if somebody is about to run into me, if I, if I know it, then that's what you have to do. Otherwise, you uh, wind up with broken bones. Well, I mean, think about it. Then maybe that's exactly what the car did. It saw that somebody was about to hit it and saw there was no way to avoid the collision because maybe it was traffic to the left, traffic to the right. No way to avoid it. And the safest thing was to get hit. 
Mm. I mean, it's going to be able to calculate speeds. It's going to be able to calculate distances and impacts and all of that a lot better than a person would. So maybe the safest thing you to don't do know. was for, you don't know for the I car calculate. to be get hit. I mean, think about it. If the car gets hit, nobody in the Google you car is hurt. 30 miles per hour. But the computer ain't going to take chances. You know, humans, you might, you might just, just have swerve and just do something, <laughs> uh-huh. you know. And, you're on the curve. You know, no, but the computer's going to do what it's built to do when it's yeah, going to make the best decision that it can make. Since it don't have, like, a human yep. instinct. It don't have right. common sense. No, yeah. it, right. It's going to do what it's built, what it's basically programmed to do. And right. So maybe in that that particular situation, it's programmed to look for the safest impact, and it did. Mm. But, I mean, I'm but just, like, a, as a human, I said... Like if somebody is coming to towards your car, you just swerve the left or the right. What right. If, you right. But you can't do that going. if there are two cars on the side of you. you now you add okay. extra now. I'll, I'll run into the car, but are I don't want to hit the human. Right, but are we just all assuming that there were no other cars on the road? I we don't, we don't know. No, we, no. Okay, so that's just it. I can't assume that there's nothing else there. It was just that Google car alone, and one of the car came and hit it. Uh, I'm not, so I'm not, the, that's what I'm not doing. Is, uh, I was, I was, like intersection type. Intersection? See, and I'm just picturing driving. And if you drive it nine times out of ten, somebody to the left, somebody to the right. You're just kind of in traffic. You're going with but, the flow well, of traffic. Well, I'm saying like most like car okay, wrecks, uh, it's not when you just like just sit next to somebody or something. I think it's, you know, somewhere yeah, you're in moving. intersection. Uh, oh, okay. I, I think more cars. Saying. If you're saying cars by be, be with each other, it, okay. there would have been more cars involved. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking it's just across the, two uh, cars, yeah, cross. intersection type. And like the, the impact came from mm-hmm. the side. See, I was thinking maybe the impact came from the front of the back. Again, not enough information. Mm. You would have failed your detective class. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not enough information because it could have been anything. No, I mean, but you just gather a lot of information. The, the, the inf- anyway. Let's talk about. I, I, I watched this. I watched this video today, and I, I sent you know you guys a link. I'm not sure if you were able to watch. Well, I'm, I'm certain. What did you send us? Novelty wasn't able to watch the video, but anyway, it was a, a video about this. Uh, <laughs> it was a drone, you know, and drones are becoming popular these days. Mm-hmm. I want one, you know what I mean? Um, because a lot of times people just put they attach a camera to it and they fly it and they just taking pictures, aerial shots. It looks nice. Looks cool. Plus, Senior your voyeurism. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Fuck you. laughs> but no, it's a. Um, uh, there was a drone. Uh, this eighteen-year-old engineering student. Mm. He he built a drone, and he attached a semi-automatic gun to it. Mm. And so they have this video online called "The Flying Gun," and it's this gun attached to this drone, and it's shooting. Mm. And so. It birds? No. Well, we don't know what it's shooting at, but it's just showing that this they gun has a capability yeah. of shooting. And it's like, are are you, are you kidding? Like at first, it's like, oh, this is cool, but then you were like, okay, well, what if I'm outside? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, mm-hmm. a, a, a a drone, co- you know, shows up and, and just starts shooting at me. I don't know I, I who's controlling think, it. Yeah, I already think drones gonna be a problem. You think they, so? They gonna have to sanction it some type of way. Cause it, it, it'll be in well, just it'll F-A-A, be just in, I mean, uh, what's the word uh, violating privacy everywhere. Yeah, you got a drone that's just just hovering and, and yeah. peeking in somebody's window. You, you know, know and I, at, I'm pretty sure in the, in, a, in the next fifteen to twenty years we're gonna have police with a, with they with they own drones, drones. Uh, searching uh, for people on patrol. arresting drones. <laughs> You got drones arresting drones. I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure they're gonna have uh, drones on patrol, <laughs> just going up and down the street. <laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. But like, you know the the. Yeah, they, Go ahead, Joe. They they had a Hawaii Five O episode with a drone with a gun attached to it, and they killed some hikers on that show. Uh huh. So, I, I'm sure it's coming. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like the, the 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 fear in it all is that you don't know who's controlling who's, it. Oh yeah. And, and who's so watching. Yeah, and it's like you got this this being, this this <laughs> going out shooting and we don't know like it could have actually look killed somebody, the, it could have malfunctioned and, and mm. shot anybody. Like it just don't seem like it's safe. Yeah. Like I don't I don't trust it. Like I <laughs> 
I it, like I, I said, like it seemed cool for the first minute. Yeah. But then, as I then thought about it, like you know, it could have been <laughs> somebody me. else yeah, could it, be doing this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> looking at my ass, nah. And then, who's the wiser? Like, mm-hmm. you, I, I want to know if it happens, somebody gets shot by a drone. How does the detective solve that case? Exactly. Don't they have a camera? Like, then you say it had a camera? No, I'm saying I was it's just, just a drone with a gun. It was no just a drone. Yeah, I don't know if it had a camera or not. It was a. a uh, somebody I'm on sure the side of it that had a, a camera that was watching it, so it, maybe the operator of the drone was close by, but I didn't see any. But then how they gonna catch? Do they know it, it? Can they say somebody else you know got it and controlled it? And so yeah, or do you, you don't or know. Do you prosecute yeah. the owner? Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. You know that I think that that's a problem. The second half of her question, like who who who, who you going? That, who's at fault? You know, who's in fault? It could be his son, yeah. you know, an asshole of a son, 16 years old, got daddy's, you know, drone and fucking around and oops, I killed somebody. That's scary. Well, why would a 16 year old fuck around with a drone with a gun? A 16 year old. Well, why, why, oh, why, why would you? Why, why would a 16 year old have a gun? <laughs> right. A and, and kill people. Stupid. I mean, just, a drone is just and, it's another toy. And like, you know, guns, you know, to some people are fun. Drones to me are fun. Okay, a gun, drone together. It's like the That's ultimate. A weapon. It's ultimate oh, fun. Somebody is just having a blast. Yeah, until they shoot up your cow. Yeah. <laughs> that gives <laughs> a whole new meaning to drive by. I don't need that fun. Right I now. guess they're gonna be flybys now. Shit. Well, also in the news, we had. It's hard uh, being happening. <laughs> We we had uh, in Clay County. There was this. It was like a kidnapping. Mm. And then a murder suicide. They no. say, who got kidnapped? Uh, and JT, I'm not sure, you know, you are into sports or whatever. Mm. But do you recall, uh, what's his name? They called him, they used to call him Bus. Uh, Buster Barnett. He used to play for the Buffalo Bills, but this is before your time. Back yeah. in the. Because of the Bus I know, he played for Pittsburgh. Okay, he played for the Buffalo Bills from ni- 1981 to 84. You know, you old enough that you should remember, but. No, Maybe you don't. You was walking and talking around don't, that time. We ain't too. talking about me. We talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about walking you. Walking and talking. But anyway, you know, he uh, Buster was married to this woman named Sandra. Mm. And then here recently, uh, Buster decided to add on a, a mistress by the name of Lisa. Now, I don't know <laughs> what transpired, but he had been having this mistress for multiple years. The mistress decides she she tired of this shit. She want to be the number one. Mm. So she goes over and kidnaps the wife. Mm. And then I don't know how police got involved, but they got involved and they started. It was like a, a high speed chase or a chase with the, the, uh, with the, the, wife, uh, the wife and the, the mistress. Yeah. You know what? Well, the mistress holding the wife hostage. Mm. And so when the police was 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 approaching them or getting close to, to taking them down, old girl pulled over Lisa. Mm-hmm. And ended up shooting the wife. Say it ain't so. And then killing herself. Oh, classic. Hey, like what? How you that in love? Well, to, or you, you, you might have to ask Novel T. You know that might. I feel like that's a woman. That's a woman too. Oh, the, oh, the <laughs> mistress. Side. Side. Yeah, the, <laughs> the mistress being so you, in love. Yeah. You know, to the point where she's like, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. I want them all to myself because they. You know, the article was saying how they had been together for mm-hmm. at least like three years. Yeah. So if y'all cool and y'all making whatever work mm-hmm. for three years, then why you want to, you know. She didn't know how to play a role. The mistress? Yeah. I'm pretty sure she was getting, you know, getting, her, you know, some dividends. She, but, you know. But she wanted she more. She fell for the okie doke, old sucker in love. Mm. Or maybe, you know, it was one of those situations where he was telling her, I'm going to divorce my wife. But you, come on now. That's classic now. You well, should you know, know what, that. that it, it I, I'm going to leave my wife. It don't matter. Uh, I don't care what he says. If you his mistress, don't you think he'll take a mistress with you too? Come on now. But I mean, but you, if you a mistress, that, it shouldn't matter if you what a mistress, that is. Cause if you a part. mistress and you want to be a mistress, and that, then that's fine. That's what y'all want to do. Whatever. To each his own. That's between you and his wife. But don't think he's going to give her up for you. No. Nah. And even if he did give her up for you, then he's going to get another mistress eventually because he's already shown that's the type of man he is. Mm. But then there's also, I ain't going to 
say that. I want I, you to come on out with that. No, no, I thought I have for something else. But you know, it's a it's a nice ploy. I, huh? the mistress. Go ahead, go ahead. Talk, talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I said something. I was thinking about something. I was thinking out loud. Gotta share. It set us nah. up for failure. Right. Oh my bad. <laughs> that be epic fail if you're not gonna. Oh no, nah, but it, it ain't nothing like for this show though. Go ahead. Uh, That's it, all I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, like it, it's it's a sad situation, and like novelty. Could you see yourself ever being the Hell other one? No. What if you didn't know? Would you end it immediately, or you you know y'all catch feelings pretty pretty quickly? So it may be a situation where you can't get Nobody out of it because like you in love. She, she you be that, that woman. Married man that, is that married man. Somebody That's, that, that becomes at that point for me. It's not about. Me, him, and his wife. It's about me and God. So no, you you end it. Yes, well, God will end me one way or the other. <laughs> he gonna end you. Anyway. I know where right. my bread is, but <laughs> right. he gonna end me. But I want to show when I end, I want to be with him. <laughs> right on. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, also in the news, we got two tragedies that happened here recently. The first one happening in Tennessee, where we had a, a gunman enter like a military. Uh, installation, mm. two of them actually, mm. and shoot four people. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it five people ended up dying, but he shot four people. And I'm just trying to understand, like, how does stuff like this happen? Like, you would think a military. Right. Uh, I think it may have been like a recruitment center, so it may not be as it was gun free. You know, like military facilities are gun free. Okay, believe. maybe I heard wrong. I thought this um, gunman. Turned out to be somebody working for ISIS. No, they were they were they were trying to investigate whether he was working with ISIS or not. But as far yeah, as I, I know, that. that they yeah. haven't confirmed that. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, even if he was working for ISIS, like, how does he get through a military base? How does anybody? How, you you know, know, some type of security, unless he just you know shot. Like the if he's shooting from a distance, like if he's sniping, then that's different. But even but like sniping the, the, from a military I, I base shouldn't even be possible. Of what went down. A military base that shouldn't be possible. But I, I don't. Was it a base or a, a military facility? It was like a, a recruitment center. Oh, yeah, okay. That's on di- okay. Yeah, that's, that's why they're. Then that's, that's going to be it's totally a, it's a different. Free area, like those. Type so of, the people that, like you saying, even the workers don't carry guns or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, that's going to be a whole different story if it's a mili- uh, like a recruitment center. Yeah, that's they got general guns on, on the that's general on the public. base. <laughs> that's, that's the base, <laughs> right? No, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> you talking about base? That's different. Yeah, but, but if I, you but just I, say yeah. at a military recruitment center, that's the general public. Uh, it says four Marines were killed and three other people were injured in a shooting in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm. Uh, witness says they heard dozens of shots as a suspected gunman, which was identified as 24-year-old Muhammad Yusuf. Oh. Abdulaziz. That didn't help the cause. Listen to that name. Uh, At all. He was a Kuwaiti born. Oh, uh, was he? He was born, yeah, he was born in, in Kuwait. In Kuwait. Uh, they said he was mm-hmm. also, he was killed in the firefight with responding police officers after the rampage. Now, they were trying to, they don't really know his motive behind it, mm. but, you know, based on this article, uh, they were saying, they were investigating whether he was inspired by ISIS. Like an ISIS. Or another ter- yeah, terrorist group. You know, not par- actually part of the gang, but, you know, want to do gangish things or a supporter. That's Ebonics when he explained it. Gangish things. <laughs> yeah. The people know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. He ain't a part of the game, but he, he wanted he trying to live that life. He trying to be yeah. about that life. No, he was. I'm damn. done. Keep going. Keep it moving, please. <laughs> but now, now that we mentioned ISIS, though, like that if he is, if it turns out for him to be uh, a part of ISIS, because we've been seeing more and more Americans mm-hmm. that have, I, I don't know if you call them like they're sympathetic to the cause or whatever, mm-hmm. but why would you, why do you think that Americans would turn on Americans for uh, this type of, what, I saw their face. <laughs> what, what's going on now? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Hatred. I, I, I okay. I can understand hatred, but to hate the the whole country, and you live here, yeah, and you, uh, you uh, I feel like you you hate the country. <laughs> no, no, I don't hate. Do we the need country, to put you I mean, on the list. <laughs> no, I don't hate the country. But come on, I mean, it is 
it's so much anger, so much hatred, so many people hollering they feel like they're getting the short end of the stick, whether they white, black, the government this, government's t- too much involved, black people need to go back, Mexicans need to go black. There's so much crap going on here. I want my country I can back. definitely see. <laughs> People being people sympathetic, being sympathetic to ISIS. not just to ISIS, but to other terrorist groups, because there's so much. Well, what do you infighting. prove? What do you prove for people who feel that way? What do you prove? Are you just you're fed up and it's like uh, I'm ready to die, so I'm gonna take some people out with just, me. Some of them probably just want to be heard, and that might be it. They just want to be heard. My personally, I feel I, like if you want to, if you hate the country that much, then leave it. Otherwise make change if you want to stay then make change you don't make change by killing how are they making a change how are they making change with killing people no that's just my point they're not you don't make change with killing people well, you change stuff, <laughs> right? You it just, ain't the right change. You just make the you, you empower the, the you empower the government when you do that. That's how we ended up with this homeland security in the first place. You empower the government when you make change by killing people. You do not hurt it. You just make them make stronger militaries mm-hmm. and make them hold people hostage and make them be able to infringe more on your personal R- rights. Rights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what you do when you start killing people. But if you go b- about it the right way, unfortunately, it takes time. It takes marches. It takes protests. It does change over time. But to do it this way, all you're going to do is oh, the rest of it, we all going to be held hostage. We ain't going to be able to ride in cars in a minute without having a license and being patted, patted down and all kind of stuff. I mean, think about how it was before 9-11, getting on a plane, and think about how it is now. It's, it's a whole different country now. It's not easy for immigrants to come in this country like easily and even immigrants with legal documents is so tough. Mm. I mean, nine eleven changed a lot me. of things, and it was just a terrorist group killing Americans, and now all of a sudden, boom, all these walls go up, and they're there to protect us, mm-hmm. but in a lot of ways, they harm us. So you running around shooting up a military base is not going to make your cause easier. It's only going to make it harder. Yeah, and those are the people who come in this country with not proper documentation, and they still blow up the shit. <laughs> so then the, the question guys. is, how do, my question then is, how do those people get by without the proper documentation? Yeah, because I think uh, this article even mentioned that this person wasn't on any type of watch list or, like, he wasn't on anybody's radar. And I mean, it's, yeah, Kuwait's he, not Mexico. He came to the country they, on student visa. Kuwait's not he Mexico. Country, he can't just come up and cross the border and sneak through on a back trail. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. got to come across some water. But it do from no America, he I th- no I think he came in this country on student visa. He got education over here, and then he did what he did. So that's it's probably so- going to make it harder for people to get students, students. Yeah. Yeah. yeah people to get yes. student visas yes. now. It makes yes. it harder for immigrants. And then it yep. makes it harder for us as well because now when we want to leave the country as, as students as well, they're going to make it harder for us. Because we're making it harder for other people. Right. It's also going to make us, uh, it's going to be harder for us to trust. I mean, we already look at people, like if you see the picture of this guy, he looks like the, the, the stereotypical, what we deem as a terrorist. Shit, just the name. That's why I said he yeah. ain't helping the cause. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it's gonna it's name. going to, to it's gonna uh more incite our prejudices towards people <laughs> of, of color. I just I don't know. Fuck him. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Uh anyway, our last story we're gonna talk about comes out of, you know, Texas, the situation that happened in Texas. I'm sure by now we've all heard of Sandra Bland. Mm. Uh, the young woman who they were saying that she was an activist. Now I didn't, I couldn't find mm. anything about her her activist work, but maybe it was like uh, some videos and stuff on YouTube. But we're gonna okay, we're gonna attribute that to her. She was an activist. She was living in Illinois, right outside of Chicago, uh, and had just re- uh, got a job in Texas. They said it was at her uh, her alma mater, Prairie View A and M University. Mm-hmm. 
uh, she got pulled over by uh, a police officer because she had failed to signal that she was changing lanes. Mm-hmm. Okay, from that from that point on is where the the story gets fishy. Mm-hmm. Because okay, she got pulled over. the The police account is saying that she was belligerent, she was combative. They ended up arresting her. Once she was arrested, she was arrested on Friday. Monday, when her when she was going to try to make bail or her people were going to come and make bail, they found her in her jail cell hung, hanging. Mm-hmm. And there's make saying no that sense. she committed suicide. Mm-hmm. Now, they, they, now, there was a video that surfaced of her arrest, and it was showing an officer that... He, when, they were, when, they, when, they was, when she was on the ground. When she was that? on the ground. Okay, yeah, yeah, they didn't see like her, them, her being pulled out the car or whatever. Mm-hmm. We don't know what happened at that point, but we, the video kind of starts when she's on the ground, the officer's on her back, knee in her neck, mm-hmm. and she's you know, yelling out like, hey, like, do you, you slam my head against the ground. Do you realize yeah. you just did that? Mm-hmm. You're trying to give me uh, commands or you're trying to tell me what to do, but I can't hear you. So, yeah, like, yeah, she's like my arm. I can't feel my, my hands are numb or my arm is numb or something like that. Or, uh huh. And something like that. Yeah, and I, I can't hear out of, hear out of one of my ears or something like that. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they said, okay, she was taken into jail. Mm. One of her, her, her friends or family members said she called them and she seemed like she was in, you know, she was okay in good spirits. Mm hmm. But then all of a sudden, two days later or three days later, she she's hanging. she's dead. She committed. They saying she committed suicide. Mm-hmm. And I think they said it was a tra- she uh, a trash bag around her neck. Come and on, it man. just it doesn't make sense, especially to the family, considering she had just got her dream job yeah. that she was supposed to start two days later. This sounds like some 1918 shit. This mm-hmm. it, 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 it makes absolutely no sense. The world is questioning. Well, I can't say the world. Black folk. We are questioning. What the fuck is going on? Because it doesn't make sense. The family's mm-hmm. questioning. And I, I was reading another article that was mentioning that this part of Texas, like this, this, this county or whatever, mm-hmm. they've been known for some. Get them. Yeah. Right. You know, good old boys. The, yeah. You know, a little racist type of, of situations. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know what happened. Yeah, uh, that's too hopefully, fishy. Hopefully that, that more fishy. information comes out about it. Mm-hmm. But this is just kind of the, the initial start to the inquiry like what do you guys yeah. think about that this is why terrorists do what they do this is why people do those things you say how can americans hate america that much this is how and this i mean think about it for us this is not just the first story right. this is one in how many this just is over the last year over the last two centuries i mean forget just two centuries just stop. over the last year yeah yeah I'm this is crazy. So this, this this right here is how a person can build up to that point. I'm not saying that's what happened with him, but this is how a person can build up to that point. It just, you cannot treat people like crap and expect them to just continuously take it. Eventually, something is going to snap. Something's going to change. I mean, if it didn't, we'd all still be slaves. You treated people like crap until finally people started to snap and changes started to be made. Initially, I mean, look back at if you look at back at slavery, initially there were groups that tried to free themselves and they did it violently. Some of, they killed thousands of people, but they didn't get any headway with slavery, getting rid of slavery. That took time and that took doing it the right way. But this is how it happens right here. Treating people like they're less than human. Treating people as if they don't matter. Treating people like a number versus treating them like human beings. Do you guys see this situation coming to a head like uh, like some type of race war or something? Uh, I hope not. I don't know. I hope not. I mean, I hope it's not a race I, war because you just not. can't win that. There's just no way to win that. But I do see change coming. Do you? Yeah, a change is going to come. I don't know which way it's going to go, but a change is going to come. They, they don't have any uh, any type of footage, or will we ever see any footage, like, in the jail, like, that weekend? Or where, was it a weekend that she was in there? Yeah, she there over the weekend. Do they have – I know we've got cameras. Do they have, like, any type of – I don't know. They, they haven't mentioned any cameras. They haven't mentioned anything like that. 
from what I've been reading. Yeah, they just sound too fishy. And then they they were saying they even mentioned that the like police had communicated with her mm. uh, that morning. Like she went and ate breakfast that morning. They communicated with her. They said over the intercom. They made sure to say that for some some reason. Mm. But then an hour after they their last communication, she was she was hanging. Dead. Yeah. Like. I just it don't it, it don't make my sense. Heart. It it my if heart. you if you gonna eat, don't that mean that you, if you, you gonna kill yourself? You ain't gonna, yeah, you ain't, worried, you ain't about 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 worried about eating. And she was. They said she had asked to make a phone call. If I mean, if you you're doing too much, that that all the signs are pointing to you thinking about you, your life progressing. Yeah. Instead of life and ending, I, you, unless you, that you phone call that quick. you wanted to like say your goodbyes. She got bipolar, you know, disorder. I don't know. But it doesn't. Hey, it just doesn't. It doesn't make sense. That quick? Nah, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you know they were saying that the uh, Texas Rangers and the FBI or somebody are going to be investigating. Hopefully, we get more. And hopefully, we get answers because this shit. Nothing about it makes sense. Even from mm-hmm. the arrest, it doesn't make sense. For, you know, somebody didn't. <laughs> that should have been a ticket. I'm like this. Uh, it sound. It's like so blatantly. Yeah, I want to know how Split, you know not, not signaling sends you yeah. to jail. And then what kind of bullshit ass cop pulls you over for you? Did, you change lanes, lanes without you like yeah, like you ain't got shit else well, to the, do. No, no, no they I, do. I yeah, know they well, do, especially in little small towns because they don't have, have shit, shit else, else to, do. to do. So yeah, they do. <laughs> they do that in small towns, but that doesn't but usually damn, end up to in. That doesn't end up with me putting you in my squad car. You on the ground with handcuffs. I mean, at this point, they should have at least said why she was arrested. They said she was combative. So combative for and the belligerent. door shut. You're talking too much shit. She probably, just, she's probably. I guess they were thinking Maybe, like she was I, mouthing off. Yeah, or I, and I'm thinking she may have been mouthing off. If she's an activist, she may yeah, have been she know, spewing or, her rights. Yeah, she know what like she what will. you can't do. <laughs> my grandma for my birthday bought me a little camera to keep in my car. It's a actual. It's a video camera. It's supposed to tape accidents. I know it from now on. I will be taping every single police altercation I have. Oh, you need yeah, to. Yeah, you gonna have because they you ain't just have a camera. they ain't just killing the men. <laughs> yeah, they killing women they're killing too. Everybody. And uh, mm-hmm. believe it or not, a lot of the the deaths of the women, the injustices towards you know women, don't go publicized. Like we don't hear too much about it. We don't talk about it too much. But it's happening just as often. Oh yeah, they black too. Yeah. But, you know, hopefully, you know, they get the same uh, attention, the, the same concern, the same public outcry that we, we do for, you know, the Trayvon Martins, the Eric Garners, the, the Freddie Grays. And I just heard uh, regarding the Freddie Gray situation, oh, you know, well, the Freddie Gray situation, some of the officers are trying to change their story and mm-hmm. say that they gave their initial statements under duress. They're like, we were, we were giving our statements thinking we were at witnesses. Mm. We ain't know we were suspects, so we we gonna have to yeah. you know change some shit. Now that I know I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rethink things. Yeah. So you know that's going on in Baltimore, and your boy in Colorado, oh James Holmes. Mm-hmm. You know he was found guilty recently. Uh, the guy who the Batman shooter. You know the guy who killed all those people at the midnight screening of the Batman, mm-hmm. and he was found guilty of 165 counts. Mm-hmm. So you know. Thankfully, justice is going to be well, served sir. there. But one thing to remember is he's alive to see his justice. Yeah, and we the same. The same with Dylan point. Roof. We, to, he's uh, alive. The, the mayor in Baltimore. Some some lady came up and poured water, water on her. Uh huh. I was like, how how does she make it to that point? How does she lady? get so close? Well, I guess she ain't the president, so I guess she you know got, still, she, she should still have. Because you don't of, know what is in that bottle. Besides, you know, good thing it was water. Right. I mean, she should still have Somebody some type throw of security some acid on your ass. Yeah, something. The mayor has security. The police officers guard the mayor. So again, well, when she, the police, when the mayor is 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 convicting the police officers, the police yeah. officers they don't, don't give it like, hey, mm. like you, are, you on poli- your own. We I here. think it's the police department's job to guard the mayor. Well, yeah. somebody was slipping <laughs> that day, and I'm, I, I almost believe that they don't care. They probably don't. They probably don't. She black too. They really don't. And she look good. 
<laughs> don't be I think that would be a reason be to care, JT. Hey, that's the reason I care. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all we got for today's show. We appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning in. Make sure you stop by our website at Keep Moving Podcast. Even though our lovely lady Novel T isn't Don't updating on that. as often as she should, she does most of her work on the Facebook page, Keep Moving Podcast. Oh dang, I so, forgot about it. Yep, so and there you go. And there it is. You can find and us on is. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, where you guys are seeing this everywhere by searching Keep Moving Podcast. We appreciate you guys. Any final words, my folks, JT? No, sir. Novel T? Yes. Confederate flag. Remember last week I had a question. Uh huh. Can y'all remember what the question was? Yeah, you were under, you were trying to understand why it wasn't treason treasonous for them to be flying the Confederate flag at the state capitol or in other places. Okay, that's why Mike Mike got A's in school. <laughs> that's why I got C's. Test number one. <laughs> it is not treasonous because it is not the Confederate battle flag. It was never the Confederate battle flag. Mm-hmm. It is the top corner of one of the confederate battle flags so it is not a real battle flag it did not represent treason however don't let nobody tell you it represented the battle because it never flew with the battle it went up to celebrate the centennial of the civil war which i can't understand why they would raise that flag after they lost but anyway but it was mainly because of at that time civil rights was um was the civil rights movement had started um the friendship nine were protesting as well as oh god what's the big case um the board of brown versus the board of education and they were trying to segregate schools and segregate cities that flag was raised specifically to let the people know and the the federal government know they were not behind um, desegregation. They wanted to keep the state segregated. Oh, okay. So and, and bled into everything. Else. Right. It was never the battle flag of the Civil War. It does not represent treason, treason, which is why it can fly with the government. They don't care. And I saw some videos today of I guess there was some type of protest or some type of rally where you had all these cars going towards, like I don't know if it was the Capitol or whatever, but they were all flying the Confederate flag, which was yeah, I heard about. Quite I mean, they could, they could protest too. Yeah, yeah. So, I, right. I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm just uh, I'm not saying that they can't. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that it was it was just throwing it. People out are still in love with it. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> no, I just gonna, wish you know, they don't change the, their for mind those that people that say, "Oh, it's our heritage. It's about the oh, no, that's war bullshit. and the battle." Stop lying. To us and stop lying to, to yourselves <laughs> and be honest and just say what it is. Maybe they just don't know. They don't know. And if they you just, don't know, ignorant. Yeah. if you don't know, look up read your history, book. read a book, learn what you are standing for. And all them stupid black people out there flying that flag. And the, the fool that says slavery was a choice, I, no, just leave uh, her down no. there with the crazy white folk. <laughs> Yeah, she she chose she, she, she yeah, chose her she, side. She chose her side. Let <laughs> yeah. us. I don't want her back. We vote her out. <laughs> anyway, Joe, you got any final words? <laughs> she takes a drink. <laughs> <Me> a drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once again, folks, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>